Setting a reference using the KI2000 parameter and light source. Take the test launch lead from the light source. It's already been cleaned. Put it into the meter port for the power meter. Power on both instruments. Make sure the meter is in meter mode. And switch on the source for the correct wavelength. If the wavelength isn't correct, press plus or minus to adjust until you have the correct calibrated wavelength on the source. Then to reference out the meter loss, press set ref. And that's your test lead zeroed out and ready to do insertion loss testing. Performing an insertion loss test using the KI2000 light source and KI2700 loss test set. So using our light source which has been switched on for 5 to 10 minutes to allow the source to stabilize and our test lead, I will first of all take a reference reading using the power meter. Plug the test lead into the power meter's port. Make sure that the loss test set is set into optical power meter mode. Also check that the meter mode is reading in dB relative mode. Just show my dBR. When you're in dB relative mode, you press set ref to zero the test lead out. Now I'm going to simulate taking a loss reading from our cable under test by using another patch lead and a SC through connector. This has all been cleaned. We'll connect the patch lead to the test lead of the light source. Connect the other end of the cable under test into the power meter. And now the reading that's showing here is the relative loss introduced by the cable under test. If I increase the loss by putting a macro bend into the cable, we'll see that the relative loss reading will increase. And that's how simple it is to do an insertion loss test using Kingfisher. 2000 range of instruments.
using auto test for the KI 2000 range of instruments is a very simple way to ensure that you get accurate and fast insertion loss testing for high fibre count um, testing situations. Connect the test lead to the meter port of the loss test set and on the KI2000 light source press the auto button. The light source will communicate with the power meter. The power meter will detect the test wavelengths that are being emitted by the source and we're in a position to do a reference setting for each test wavelength. We do this just by pressing set ref and holding. With the references set we can now connect to our cable under test. And whilst still in auto test, we now have a display across two wavelengths in this instance, 1310 and 1550 nanometers for the insertion loss. It's that simple with auto test. Kingfisher power meters in the KI 2000 and 9600 range have a unique feature for minimum and maximum recording. This is very useful for quick stability testing and for giving an indication of the range of power levels encountered on a particular fibre under test. So if I simulate a light source put the loss test set into meter mode. And if I simultaneously press plus and minus, the display will go to a three wavelength, three line display with the upper reading showing the maximum reading encountered and the lower reading showing the minimum reading encountered and the middle line showing the current power level reading. So I can adjust the power level on the light source. And we should see the minimum value has now gone down to minus 0.1. Of in meter mode, you can show it in microwatts. and also in DBM. This is very good for transmission level monitoring and for a quick check to see whether you've got any power instability over a period of time.
Using text ID tags can help you organise your lost test readings in the internal memory of the Kingfisher power meter. I'm going to show you how you can assign a user-defined text tag to each lost test reading that you store in the thousand location memory of the Kingfisher power meter. So in meter mode, you'll notice that at the top of the screen there is an alphanumeric ID. This is what we refer to as a text tag. And you can assign this text tag to any number of readings that are stored in the memory. Obviously, this is the default tag, but you can edit this in the following way. If I press the center select button, the text tag is uh, indicating that that is um, selected. I can press the F3 button to edit the characters on there. For example, I could make this I press the center button to move to the next letter, C A. CATV. When you've finished editing, you press memory, and this now becomes the active text tag, which can be used then to associate our readings with. So in auto test, if I now press store memory button, the triangular button. This result for the power level reading and the loss test reading will be stored associated with the tag. If during the course of testing I want to change the tag, it is a simple process to press the, the middle button and assign the next tag available. So if you have multiple premises and different readings, you want to associate each reading with a different tag, it's very simple to do that. I can now store this loss reading, this power level reading, with a different tag of FTTA. Very simple way of organising your instrument readings in the memory of the Kingfisher power meter. Introducing the KI2000 light source VisiTest feature. This is a high productivity feature which enables single person testing of insertion loss on fibre optic cables. Often it's necessary not only to introduce a test signal into your fibre under test but also to positively identify in the patch field which fibre should be connected to the power meter to do the insertion loss test reading. Kingfisher has introduced a novel feature called VisiTest which mixes a visible signal together with the infrared test wavelengths. And it's very simple to use and very productive. I press Auto on the Kingfisher light source and we have our infrared test wavelengths are being emitted and interspersed with those 
there is a flash of visible light which allows the operator at the other end in the patch field to identify which connector has to be connected. power meter switches into auto test and insertion loss testing can continue. All Kingfisher power meters and light sources are supplied as standard with SC connectors. The all Kingfisher light sources and power meters are also have interchangeable connectors as a standard feature. To remove the interchangeable connector, press the button lightly and remove the through adapter connector. For example, for testing LC connections, we can plug in a new interchangeable adapter and have ability to test 1.25 millimeter ferrule connectors. Easily removed. We can use SMA, ST. FC, even E2000. Very flexible for your loss testing requirements when you don't know exactly what connectors you are going to need to encounter in the field.